It's a tragedy leaving lasting scars on hundreds of families. Monday marks the 20th anniversary of the station fire. 100 people were killed and more than 200 injur injured. This morning, a faith community came together to pray and remember all those affected by the fire. 12 News anchor Mike Montecalvo was at this morning's emotional mass. Hundreds of people came to the Mass of Remembrance this morning here at St. Kevin's Church in Warwick, remembering the lives lost, those who survived, and the heroic efforts of the first responders. My brothers and sisters, we gather to celebrate these sacred mysteries and to remember especially those we lost 20 years ago in the tragic station nightclub fire. Keeping our promise, what prevails here today? We will never forget. Hundred beautiful souls that left us. The theme for Sunday morning's mass, honoring those who died, were injured, and the heroes who emerged on February 20th, 2003. Oh, you. Oh, you never forget. That's what the message is here, and and it's it's always raw, Mike. You never. It never really leaves you anybody that was as impacted as so many people were. This is about the families today, those that lost loved ones, and so many that were injured. You know, realize how many people were injured still alive. Former Rhode Island Governor Don Kachiri tells me the response was tremendous. Thousands of Rhode Islanders, you know, you saw it, just came forward to do whatever they could to try and help. Father Robert Marciano with a simple request to the congregation. He asked everybody to close their eyes when they sang uh, Amazing Grace. If you closed your eyes, what were you thinking about? Everybody that passed. Um, I owe my life to them. I owe my life to the doctors, to my family, first responders. I owe my life. Um, there's just no other words for it. Um, I'm, how do you get this lucky? <laughs> And I say lucky, and it's scars and all. The night's still raw for family members who lost loved ones in the fire and those who survived. Wishing he was here and I didn't have to do this. Doesn't look like I've been carrying it for long, huh? What was he like? Gregarious, the life of everything. He was my pain in the neck and he was my most trusted confidant. I could count on him. Uh, he's amazing and he continues to be. We never talk about him in past tense. When we have uh, go out to dinner or order a pizza, we always use his name. We always have a place for him at the uh, family table and all holidays. Time does heal a little bit. The memories will always be there, you know. It's um, obviously it's a great tragedy, you know. My parents had a hard time. It's something that you never forget, you know, it sticks with you. You know, they say, to forgive and to forget, you know, um, to give it all to God so you can go forward. But it's kind of hard when you, you know, lose somebody. Tragedy is a part of life. The key thing is how we respond to it. And when communities rise up and, uh, you know, are compassionate, live in solidarity with one another, then even the worst tragedy becomes a source of, of, of a new life, really. While the memorial mass took place one day before the 20th anniversary, a formal ceremony will take place at the Station Fire Memorial Park in May. In Warwick at St. Kevin's Church, Mike Montecalvo, 12 News. And join us tomorrow for complete coverage of Station Fire Remembrance 20 years later. Mike Montecalvo will be live at the Station Fire Memorial Park. We'll hear from survivors about the mental scars they carry and how they continue to heal. Plus, children of victims speak out for the first time about how this tragedy has altered their lives.